Well, now a century ago, during the First World War, the Ottoman Empire deported hundreds of thousands of Armenians. Well, they were left to die in barren deserts, either from starvation or thirst. Well, thousands were also massacred, and a ceremony has taken place at a memorial for victims of uh, of those uh, those events. And it's taken place in Yerevan. Let's take a listen now to French President Francois Hollande, who spoke at the event. Today. I wanted to be here in Yerevan on behalf of France. On this day, April the 24th, 2015, to mark the centenary of the genocide. I bow down in memory of the victims and I come to tell my Armenian friends that we will never forget the tragedies that your people have endured. Well, for more on this, we can cross now to France 24's Armin Georgian, who is on hand uh, covering the events for us. Armin, uh, walk us through what we saw take place. Well, at the moment, the prayer is still happening at the uh, memorial complex that's being led uh, by the head of the Armenian church. Uh, so uh, some very uh, uh, powerful uh, singing and uh, 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 sort of very, uh, uh, in a sense, um, uh, very, very uh, important moves there going on because of the uh, religious aspect of Armenian national identity. And we've seen those two strands really uh, coming together uh, in the course of this morning. Uh, to take you back to the start of proceedings, Molly, uh, we uh, saw the delegations, 60 delegations from around the world arriving, laying wreaths at the memorial, uh, uh, delegations coming from uh, Israel, the United States, from mainly Muslim or Arab countries, and that reflects uh, the fact that many Armenians were given shelter in Muslim and Arab uh, states uh, after they were uh, killed and dispersed, or uh, the survivors, I should say. And this is something that uh, President Saksian uh, pr uh, paid tribute to, thanking those countries for uh, for saving the lives of the survivors. Uh, he also uh, thanked the Turks who have been demonstrating today in Taksim Square in Istanbul, uh, trying to uh, get their government to change its position uh, on, uh, on this issue. Uh, so that was a very important important point for uh, for the Armenian president. We heard of, from Francois Hollande as well, and of course he uh, really uh, hit the spot there. You could tell from the reactions of the audience, people uh, standing there, at getting to their feet, giving him a long ovation that he really, uh, you know, uh, really hit uh, the exact right note for his audience with his description of what what happened and and his uh, his talk about crimes against humanity jo not just that befell the Armenians but other peoples uh, in uh, in the 20th century we also heard from President Putin a slightly more subdued address but I think that's just his speaking style style which is uh, uh, perhaps a bit different uh, and uh, that was also of course important for this audience to hear because uh, um, uh, because Russia is Armenia's closest ally. Now, Armin, you mentioned uh, actually a protest uh, in Turkey as people are urging for Ankara to uh, to recognize uh, use of the, the term genocide uh, when speaking of events that took place. Now, a memorial service will be held uh, actually in Turkey uh, today, but uh, there where you are now, the memorial that uh, we're seeing the images of, uh, that will be open to the public later this afternoon. Yes, it will be at the moment. As you can see, I think the streets behind me are fairly empty because people have really stayed at home. This is a, a, a holiday here, to, I mean, a, 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 in Armenia. So they'll have been watching uh, this ceremony on their TV screens, those who want to. But uh, a lot of people I spoke to yesterday said the highlight for them would be uh, when they get their chance to go to the memorial once the delegations have left. So really uh, this afternoon and evening uh, that we're expecting to see a steady stream uh, where individuals and families will be going up there and reflecting on what this means uh, personally for them. But certainly I got a sense from talking to people here that uh, this is a special day, even though uh, the actual uh, choreography, if you like, is very similar to previous years. There will be people laying flowers, uh, standing 
uh, at uh, the wall of, of memory. So they'll do, be doing the things that they normally do, but of course it is a once in a lifetime uh, day uh, for, for, for one imagines all of them. Uh, they won't be around for the 200 years uh, as, uh, t uh, commemorations. So this is really a, a day that, uh, that people here say they won't forget whether they come from Armenia or from the diaspora or indeed from, from other countries because I also spoke to people who are non-Armenians and I think that's also one of the goals here of the, uh, of the organizers is to open this to as many countries and participants as, as possible.